Okay, so now that we have our access door um, uh, arranged, we have our little nuts glued to the inside, and we have our little bolt with the uh, rubber handle on it, or the hot glue handle, we are ready to move forward. So I am going to reconnect um, my electronics. So there's the servo. Here is the coin sensor. and my two perch switches. Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about now is uh, getting the sled into the crow box and all buttoned up. So to do that, I'm going to need to feed my power pigtail in here and uh, get my power adapter, which is not on my bench right now. So I'm going to get that, and we'll continue. Okay, so I have my power cable now. Um, and uh, it is my preference um, to actually put the power cable into the crow box through this hole in the back here um, so that the connector is inside. Um, and the easiest way I've found to do that is to just feed it all the way in until you have enough slack to reach the pigtail, just like this. So I'll just plug that into my pigtail now. Uh, and uh, I like to do it this way because I don't want this joint here between these two connectors to be outside of the box where it can get wet. So uh, I'll keep those in there. So I'll take that slack up now, by pulling the cable back through. And now I'm going to talk about sliding the sled into place. Um, so the, uh, the number one trickiest thing about this probably is remembering that uh, on the bottom of the sled we have bolts sticking out uh, or we have nuts un under there from our standoffs that hold the Arduino in place. So keep in mind that the sled, um, once you, when you're starting to push it in, you're gonna hit the, you may hit those bolts on your, your shelves uh, and that'll stop the sled going in. Um, and you may think it's due to some wiring issue or something, but actually it's just a physical um, uh, collision. So remember to lift your sled up just a little bit um, to let those uh, bolts in. So this is just a pretty simple process of gently tucking wires under as you push the sled in. Just pushing them, getting them inside the, uh, the door there. And uh, I'm going to lift this up now and push it the rest of the way in. I don't want to let that cable out the back though, just like that. So. Now there's a little springiness to some of these wires. Um, this will settle down after, you've been, after the box has been in the field for a little bit. So you can choose to deal with that by um, just shutting the access door on it like this and letting the door push that into place. And there's those bolts I was talking about. Or you can find which springy wire is uh, causing the sled to come back out. And in this case, it looks like this whole cluster here bouncing off the servo. So I'm going to kind of gently get those under the servo like that. And then uh, my sled is a little more likely to stay in place. And then I can test with my access door here. Yep, and so the access door fits. So if your sled is inside and your access door will close, you're pretty much good to go. Um, so why don't we go ahead and do that actually. I'm going to install my little bolt here that keeps the access door in place. Screw that in. Now around the back here is another spot you're going to want to weather tighten and it's where this cable from your um, power adapter goes in and uh, how, you want to, how you do this is up to you. Uh, you can patch it with a bit of tape. Um, you can slowly fill that gap in with some uh, hot glue or you could use household um, silicone um, from the hardware store just, just to sort of fill that in. But you really want to make sure that uh, you close this, uh, this hole off to the, uh, to the outside weather here. 
So that's it. Now my sled is inside. It's not in there straight, as you can see um, from above here, but that actually doesn't matter. Um, it's fully supported. It's not going to fall down to where our coins are. And uh, there are no wires that are up around the rotor here that can get caught uh, or pulled. So that's all there is to it is in terms of stowing your sled. Uh, and this makes it easy to, you know, you can unscrew this, open the hatch, pull that sled out, and uh, easily access your training button um, to change phases of training or to, to collect the quarters from the underside of the, the crow box.